Hi guys, it's um, VapeGill87 again. Um, I've just uploaded my first video and I'm quite nervous actually, so hopefully it'll be cool. Um, I wanted to talk about the other vape juice that I mentioned in my last video that I got and um, basically it was just, it was a no-go for me because the flavours in there weren't great. Um, I got it from a store in Walthamstow in uh, East London. Uh, it's a it's a vape superstore. So on the website it looks great. It's got thousands of vape juices in there and I thought when you go they're going to have an area where you can try them and you know you can have a look and see what you like and you don't like. We got there um, and it had a little tiny trade counter probably no bigger than sort of a, a, a regular size desk um, and an iPad and that was basically it so um, it was one of them ones where I just had to guess what ones I would like um, so we went through and I got the suicide um, grape which is the one I spoke about in my last video and I love that um, but I got another one now um, if you go into any vape shop you're gonna see a vape juice called Heisenberg because it's quite a popular one apparently it just blew up all in America a couple of years ago doesn't really tell you what's actually in it so I never knew what this Heisenberg flavor was um, so when I was in the vape shop the other day I stumbled across um, it's called this one's called Heisenberry Heisenberries looks like this um, and I asked the bloke behind the counter and he said it's like a, a, a version of the Heisenberg one I said well what flavor is that and he said it's like berries flavor obviously because he doesn't really know so I thought right well I like berries um so i'll try it and i got it and um put it in my vape and it doesn't taste like berries or at least it doesn't just taste like berries um there is a flavor in there which i'm just I'm not a fan of now when you look at the um the cover you can see it's got um like little berries here which look like the ribena berries so i thought it'd just be like a mixed berry some sort it's got these shards and mint leaves so i thought it'd be like an icy berry flavor so it'd have like a mint taste to it as well which it does um but it doesn't have anything else on there see so i thought it was just going to be berryish. and when i put it in my vape i found that it has an aftertaste of aniseed now, I, some people like um, licorice, some people don't. I'm not a massive fan of licorice. I can take it or leave it, but I don't want it in my vape juice. Um, and this has no mention at all that it's got licorice in it, but I'm 100% convinced um, that it has aniseed in it, which isn't a problem. For people who like aniseed, it's not a problem at all. But for me, I don't like aniseed, so it was a big no-no for me. Um, this, again, is a 50ml vape bottle. Uh, again, it's a 30 to 70 ratio, so it's great for the, the big tanks. Um, the juice itself is quite thick, but it's, you know, it's usable. I've barely used it. I put it in my tank once, or I put it in my, my uh, vape once, vaped it. Yeah, it gives you a great cloud, gives you great flavour, but you have that aftertaste, and that aftertaste is what I found tasted like aniseed. Um, and unless I really wanted a, a vape juice with aniseed in it, it's, it's not pleasant for me. So for, for me, I personally am not a fan. However, if you like aniseed, go for it, because it has got a very strong aniseed aftertaste. Um, if you're not a great fan of, um, of aniseed, I would stay clear, because it does have, it sort of makes the back of your throat very numb from the taste of the aniseed. So um, this one, for me, is a no-go. I'm never gonna get this again. I'm gonna see if anyone in my family wants this. Um, so this review isn't, isn't putting it down, because everyone has their own choice, everyone has their own, um, you know what they like and they don't like but for me I'm never gonna get this again only because of the aniseeds um, flavoring in it but for those who enjoy aniseed enjoy a bit of berry and enjoy a bit of mint go for it because it, again it's a great vape juice you can vape it in and it gives you a big cloud and it tastes great it gives you a very strong flavor but it just has something in it I don't like so I won't be having this again so um, the company who actually make this I don't know the brand this this says Oh, some. so I think it's meant to be like oh my some or something I have no idea um, but anyway it looks like this so it's nice and shiny sort of catches your attention uh, it's got the clouds on there which I would assume are like to ins um, insinuate a big cloud um, e-liquid which it does do um, but it has that aftertaste that just I'm just not a fan of so um, this one certainly I won't be trying this one again 
Um, and that is the fear I find when you're buying e-liquids online or when you're going into a shop where you can't try them, you do sometimes, unfortunately, get ones you don't like. And on this occasion, this one is just one of the ones that I won't be going back to. Um, nothing wrong with it, but it's just got something in it I don't like. So this is the me this is the reason for my videos so that anyone out there who um likes aniseed at least you know now the heisenberry one is great if you don't like aniseed some people hate it you know but like berries so don't go for that unless you want to be extremely surprised with the taste of aniseed in your mouth um yeah so that is basically the video for that it's very short and sweet it's not like my my first one which was quite long um you know, some of the videos are going to be long because some of them I'm going to go into a lot of detail about certain things. Some are going to be quite short, like that one, because I haven't even got it in my vape to show you sort of how it produces. It went into my vape. I wasn't a fan. I changed the liquid straight away and it's not going back in there because obviously with, your, with the cotton inside your coils, it holds the flavour for a little bit and it took me a while to get that out and I'm not putting it back in just to show you how it vapes because it vapes just like the other liquid. It's just as great, gives you a big cloud, goes in, gives you a great flavour, but then has that aftertaste that I'm just not a fan of, so I won't be going back to that one. But yeah, so that was the review of the Heisenberries. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of other reviews for some other vape juices, um, but I'm thinking my next video, I'm probably going to talk a little bit about um, my coil, because I've found mesh coils recently. I was using, I think they're called strip coils, where the, the coil just sort of goes around in, like a, in, in a coil like this. Um, inside um, the actual um, sort of coil itself, it sort of goes around like this, goes around the cotton. Um, and I found they burn out quite a lot. But this mesh coil that I'm using in, in my Aspire, which is that one, that one I was talking about, the Clito Pro, two and a half weeks I've had that coil on, two and a half weeks of near enough pure vaping, and it has not burnt out. Whereas by now, I would have had a, changed it at least once with me other coils. So I will do a video about that. That's going to be my next one. But I thought I'd do that one, talk about the Heisenberries, let you guys know exactly how I feel about that if you want to go for it go for it um, the shop I got it from um, is I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about them because they haven't asked me to but I can tell you it's um, it's a trade superstore uh, based in Orphanstow so you can google it and you can find it and and it's a great it's a great shop you know the trade counter was tiny the guy behind the the counter was great he was a lovely person he didn't have a lot of knowledge about them though so again it's very much you've got to go in there and kind of know what you like and kind of um have a good look before you go ahead and get your actual e-liquids but they do have a um shop in walthamstow market or in the mall where you can go and try as well so you don't excuse me i got hiccups you don't have to go into the trade one you can go to the shop in the mall and then you can try them as well so anyway that was my review on the heisenberries um please like and subscribe to my channel i'm going to be doing a lot more about a lot of different things because honestly you can talk about vaping so much you can explain it so well and for someone who has sat back and tried a lot of different things from different coils different e-liquids different mods different settings i want to share that with everyone so that for people who um, are not 100% sure or maybe thinking they're doing something wrong and haven't quite noticed hopefully my video will help make someone realize their coil setting was too high you know the mesh coils might be best for the device they've got um and also as well i want to talk about it because it is a passion of mine i know it sounds silly because it's just vaping but it is a passion of mine and it is something i would love to share with everyone else so um i'm going to sign off for now i hope everyone has a great weekend uh and i'm going to be doing a lot more videos soon sort of when as and when i can um and yeah so if you can i'd appreciate some some info in the bottom some likes that'd be nice as well obviously we all want our likes and our subscribes and you know and share me as well please share my videos with your friends who vape who may be struggling a bit or may just want to follow my review follow my videos and hopefully something i say might help or help someone decide what they want so anyway have a great weekend all and this is vape girl 87 signing off for now bye